Hello everybody, this is Shaka Nancy 1000 and Bonnie for Duty. Welcome to get back to the episode of Super Mario Odyssey Blind. Last time, we made our way here to the moon and we actually discovered that... Oh my god, are you sick? Right. That platform thing like disappeared quicker than it did at the end of the last episode. But, yeah, uh, last episode we made our way to the moon. And we're here to like confront Bowser once and for all to finally stop him from having the wedding. And this episode we're going to be continuing doing that. Starting off by doing exactly what we are failing to do. Which is... To... Well... Uh, reach our goal. Because apparently we keep dying. Right, let's ground pound that. Right, do that. There we go, that time we made it. I don't think there's any hidden secret about no, there isn't. Okay, good. So let's now charge up forward so we can now proceed to the next area. Which is which has these guys. The charging chucks. Yeah. So, with these guys, if you charge the Y, um, well, if you, you can actually charge up by holding the Y button, but you actually eventually stop running once you hit a wall, basically. You need this charging chuck to charge right through that. And there's another charging truck right over there. Oh, I need him to actually get into that bit. Okay. Charge right up. There we go. Get some regional coins. And now... For the hardest bit. Charging... On a small path. And we did it first try. And now for the last part of the inner crater of the moon. Yep. It, guess what? It's the return of this woman. This was who I was on about. That's actually sits in front of the brutal ship. Hmm. Do you remember me? You were ever so rude to me back in the Cascade Kingdom. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say that because you kind of got in my way of grabbing power moons. So, yeah. In fact, you're quite rude to all my darling broodles. Which is why we're all here now. Now, I do believe it's lunchtime for my newly powered up chomp uh, chain chompkins. Alright. So, this battle is basically the same as before in the Cascade Kingdom, except this time, she will try and grab you immediately when you um, take possession of her chain charm. Oh god. There we go. I still find it to be animal abuse, really, because she's like throwing her chain charm and then immediately. Pulling him back by yanking the chain. Right, so now... What have you in the face again? I would grab those coins, but I'm not going to do that. Right, the chain job has now got five pass on his head. Ow. <laughs> I know, I actually made the chain job charge right into his master. Oh my god, that's funny. There you go, take control of the chain charm. Oh god, I nearly got hit then. And boom. Bye. 
Nobody ever liked you, by the way. No, literally. I don't think anybody liked that brutal uh, mum, to be honest. So, yeah. We defeat her. And now, we go through this door. And it will automatically take us out of the crater, back up to the moon. We get some coins up here for our trouble. But more importantly, we want this checkpoint, Ever After Hill. Yeah, I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying! Um, but before we go in there, uh, believe me when I say this, I think you actually have to do this in the, um, boat, like, after you've beaten the game or something, I could be wrong, uh, actually no, you can't. We got a frog right here. And look how high you can jump as a frog on the moon. Yeah, that is absolutely crazy. And we also got Cap Mario and Cap Peach sitting on the back of this cathedral. Nice, unique touch, if I do say so myself. But, more importantly... Yep, yeah, there was a power moon right there. The tip of a white spire. And one more thing that we need to do. Guess what? There's actually a hole in this area underneath the bell. If you drop down, you enter the church to find that there's another power moon in the wedding hall. Yeah, that's one of the very few um, power moves I actually knew about. I don't know if you can grab this, um, like, in the after game or somewhat, but it's always wise to do it now. So, now that we've done that, we drop down and we stop the wedding. And you see... Bowser is trying to force Princess Peach to marry her, and Peach is like saying no. And look at all these guys here, as I say. I was forced to attend this ceremony. I wish to go home now. You came to save her, that's sweet, yeah? Can I have some stew? <laughs> all that guy's bothered about is the stew. <laughs> yeah, and Pauline's saying just in time. Those guys saying awful repeatedly. I was dragged away from my cooking for this? What's going on in this place? I don't know why Basil would actually force Princess Peach to wear that ring because it's too big for her. Alright, here we go. Final battle is finally approaching us. That's the cafe. Try and save us. Try and save us. Oh. Don't worry, Cappy. Don't worry. But yeah. Bowser could have just stayed up there and then forced Peach to marry him. But look. He's actually made the ring smaller with enough and trapped Princess Peach inside it. I don't know how he did that in a span of five seconds. <laughs> Crushing the wedding, Mario? That's tacky, even for you. Also, your outfit isn't halfway fancy enough for the occasion. Not that it matters, since you weren't invited. So now it's time for you to make like a bouquet and get thrown out. Yeah, I like how he snaps his fingers to um, bring Peach out the question. So now the final battle is approaching us. We're now finally battling Bowser once and for all. Is your happily ever after? All right, so there, here we go. The final battle against Bowser. He's going to be throwing these, um, well, he's going to be doing the exact same thing that he did when we was 
in the Cloud King Oh God, he's gonna do that attack. Yeah. Every time he does that, just do that basically. Can't believe we got hit twice. And what's actually stupid? There are no hearts on the moon! Jeez whiz! Oh god! That was a little bit too overpowered there, Bowser. Seriously. Oh, it's going to be sending these fake hats, and there's the real one. Right, I'm going to have to try and avoid to get hit by all means necessary now. Whoa! Okay, that's new. He's going to block it. There we go. Oh, God. Okay, I was aware of that that time. That's hit number two. We're on the final hit now. And he's going to do his overpower fire breath again. Wait! Oh, God! Jeez! Whoa! Bowser, jeez! Whoa! God, we almost got hit like every time then. Right, there's the real hat. Watch out, watch out, watch out! Hey! Oh, God. Oh, we actually get a half from that. Oh, wow, you can actually call his hat back by doing that? Well, I actually don't know that. But luckily enough, we actually got ourselves a heart at last. Watch out for that spike cannon. He's doing his cocky laugh. He's going to block. Jump. Jump. And the third time. He's going to get dizzy. And he's going to do it one more time. And that's it. And apparently doing that automatically made him lose his outfit. What the? Um, okay. <laughs> so we've rescued Princess Peach at last. But guess what? Yep, yeah, it's the moon rock. Because we hit Bowser in that one moon column, the moon is collapsing. Well, that's the first time I've ever heard him say Peach in any Mario game. Huh, that's a first. And yeah, Peach and Bowser have been gone all the way over there. And we've been sent over here. Oh, God. Right, are those two alright? I'm pretty sure they are, but we actually have to race against time right here, right now, because... Yep! Yeah. Guess what? We're gonna be controlling Bowser! There you go. So, we're Mario aka okay, Bowser. Yeah, Peach Lady. So yeah, we've automatically been given an extra um, Grand Heart right here. And we've basically got a race against time to get out of here. Just jump as normal by pressing B and then attack by pressing Y. Every time we step on these uh, the blocks will disappear and they will not re-show. Once they are gone, they are gone for good. You have to literally get out of here as quickly as possible if you want to stay alive. And this is the best path for you to take. Just attack this. Watch out for the uh, falling cluster box in case you're wondering. And there we go. We made a bridge and now we can proceed. And... We are going to be, yeah, doing 8-bit as Bowser. Didn't think we could do this, right? Well, you thought wrong. But 8-bit Princess Peach has made a return. Oh, God, even the 8-bit world's falling apart. Crap. We've got to get a move on. Oh, jeez. Right, come on, come on, come on. Oh, God, that's wrong. That's... Oh, no. We died. I thought that was the correct path we needed to take, but we was wrong. Sorry about that, Peach. 
We'll try that again. Right, race against time, race against time, smash these rocks into tiny pieces. Run along this. I wish there was actually like a charge button that we could probably do to actually like run even quicker. But, that's what life's like. You can't have anything good happen to you, even though that's kind of what happens in life, to be honest. There we go. Make ourselves a new bridge again, without getting hit, of course. There you go, so charge into the 8-bit world again. And hopefully this time, we won't make that same mistake again. Here we go, charge up, charge up, oh god, oh god! Right, come on, come on, come on. Destroy all these, destroy all these. Destroy all them, Bowser. Thank you. There we go. Destroy that. There we go. We're now out. And let's just jump on top of this. There we go. Destroy this, destroy that. Destroy everything in our sight. Literally, destroy everything. I don't know why the moon is like this, um, collapsing in on us or so what. Ow. There we go. You think that's it, right? No. That's not it. We still got one thing to go. We can see the outside. We're almost there. And we got like epic music coming up. This is this is it. We've lost. Uh, who is singing this? Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Uh. Oh. Oh right. Okay. And now I know what you gotta do. Oh jeez. You gotta attack.